Hey guys, what's up? Bye, Sectatron here from One Hive Gazette, here with the next video, and today we're taking a look at just a few nice three-star attacks from the war against Meta Mines. I think they had a good war, we struggled a little bit. This probably was a mid-war week, I, bl I believe, I wasn't in it, but um, those are always a little bit difficult to uh, get all the attacks pulled off in a, in a good, timely manner, so... That being said, good war uh, to them, and let's take a look at some 3 stars, including a Town Hall 11 v 11 3 star, which was very nice and good to see, especially on a base that's maxed out and has, um, you know, like an anti 2 star layout, but it's definitely not trying to give itself up to a 3 star. Uh, however, bowlers, witches, um, these kind of overpowering attacks can get you the three star, um, and, and you know, because bases are so set up to defend against two stars, you can sneak in there and grab some three stars. So nice one to Art Trevino here. You guys may be wondering where I've been. It's been a while, like, uh, I don't know, almost a week since I've uploaded probably. Uh, it, it's finals. I got about three or four more days of, of school, then I'm home for break. Uh, bringing my computer home with me, able to record lots of videos. So that that should be a good time to be a subscriber. Uh, I'm going to be making some videos on like uh, wall breaker pathing. That's one thing that a lot of people talked about uh, wanting to see in the stream. So you definitely see that and uh, you'll see some other types of videos as well. But it's just going to be a little bit dead on the channel for the next few days just because of that. So patrons, uh, don't fear the perks are coming out very soon uh, once I get all of my school stuff done. <clears throat> you'll get your perks for the last month. So that all being said, Art Trevino here, the bowlers split, but enough go into the middle to take out both Infernos, and that's really all he needs. Now at the end, you get to these giant bombs and stuff, but the bowlers under the Inferno, the, or not the Inferno, the Grand Warden's uh, health buff are actually pretty tanky. Uh, finally, two giant bombs killed him, but at this point, the queen has kind of stayed back. She's able to snipe these last few defenses. Um, it's rare that you see an overkill, and this one certainly wasn't. He doesn't have that many troops left up, but enough to get the job done, finish off this base. So, yeah, Town Hall 11 3 stars, you know, we, we're seeing them very kind of here and there, but they might, they might start to be a thing. Who knows? Um, let's move on to... Where's this next attack? Um, Templar Assassin. Nice dragon attack here. Uh, three healer, queen walk. Has a freeze, even. Um, let's go ahead and see how he pulls this one off. I briefly skimmed through it. I mean, I was not going to spend a whole lot of time watching attacks because I was um, I'm studying for stuff. But I wanted to at least get a video out just explaining why I'm not uploading and showing uh, from what I could skim from this war some very nice attacks. So... Uh, this one certainly qualifies being a 10v10 three star and uh, Templar is going to drop down the queen just three healers like I said but saving that 14 troop space that's almost an entire dragon um, well six less than a dragon to be uh, to be specific um, it's worth it especially if you're going to have to use the rage anyway so I, I like the way he you know, he's bringing more troop space for dragons and just knowing that um, he's going to have to rage up the queen, but he'll probably have to rage her up anywhere for certain parts of this. King Bowler's on the other side. Very interesting uh, choice and uses the rage. Going to get some very good uh, value from those bowlers because the king will tank and they'll take out that entire side of the base all the way up to that air defense. So very good utilization. Um, look to do that when there's a lot of point defense that the king can tank. All there really was with that wizard tower for splash damage, and it wasn't able to stop the bowlers. Um, so the dragon's going down the gut. The queen, meanwhile, swung all the way around. Her job's pretty much done. The healers will actually take a few seeking air mines and other air traps as they cut across towards the uh, king, which was nice. Then has those two rages. Um, I missed where he used the freeze. It might have been on that first inferno tower area. But uh, regardless, the uh, the dragons have enough juice to get through the base. Has one more haste spell, although I don't think he has any balloons left. So not going to do a whole lot with that haste. Just hastes a minion into that uh, building there. Uh, but totally overkilled this base. Ton of dragons left up. Look to use it, especially against these slightly lo lower level bases, as you can with miners. Um, so nice, nice attack there. We don't see this that much on max Town Hall 10s, but the max Town Hall 10s aren't the one that the Town Hall 10s have to worry about 3-starring. So if it works against a lower tier Town Hall 10, that's going to be good enough if you have Town Hall 11s in your clan to clean up the top Town Hall 10s. Uh, this last one is by... Um, probably a new member sees Teddy. 
Uh, this one was a queen walk hog attack. I like showing the queen walks at Town Hall 9. One of my favorite things, I always look to do a queen walk if I can on a 10 v 11 attack. That's one of the first things I look for. Um, so I'm just, a, I'm a big fan of the queen walk and it's, it's worked for so long. Um, people thought it would go away once the healers, because there was the initial update that made the healers immune to air traps. Then they took that away. So the healers now can be hit by seeking air mines. And we thought, okay, people are going to put their Seeking Air Mines on the outside of the base, Queen Walks are dead, but that actually didn't happen, and uh, doesn't get talked about that much, but kind of interesting little fact there in the Clash history. So anyway, the CC troops come out, has the poison to deal with them. I don't even think he uses a rage for this part, uh, because the Queen is just engaging with that Dragon and Tesla, and um, actually pops the ability just to be safe here. Uh, but fortunately, the ability will also allow her to take out the Queen without any other assistance. So she probably would have had to have her ability used anyway. So no, no loss there, really. The ability was going to have to be used for taking out the defensive Queen, regardless of whether it was used on the Dragon. So nothing lost there. I like the entry point, that little like uh, dip in the base. Basically what it's allowing him to do is use the golems to tank, throw a few hogs in, a few wizards, clear out a very nice funnel. Now just because of the way it works out, the bowlers actually are going to walk, two of them are, but the funnel was very nice. The setup, if they were if they were just deployed slightly differently, they would have gone to the base. So, um, And look at that one hog, all the way in there taking out that archer tower, a second layer building right there if you can see where I'm tapping. Uh, that was crazy that, that that hog got so much value, but that's the power of those hogs when you sprinkle them in while your golems are tanking. Uh, now the troops kind of go towards the bottom here, but he has these extra hogs and a heal spell. Uh, right now he's just kind of, you know, sending a few in at a time, testing things out. I've uh, got one giant bomb triggered by that one Tesla up top, and he's just going to be nice and patient with these hogs. The one healer is actually doing some work, keeping up the king, that golem. Uh, the queen, I think, goes down right here to these Teslas, but she actually almost gets both of those taken out. Right now, sending in those last few hogs, starting them where his kill squad is to get that mutual tanking. But at this point, there's nothing that can really tank for the Teslas. Just has to heal over them. Um, sends in these last few hogs, perfect deployment, and uh, that'll finish off this space here. A lot of giant bombs up by that Inferno... What's with me in Inferno Towers? Up by that uh, Tesla area, the Tesla farm, a lot of giant bombs, but as long as you have a heal or two, those hogs can do great over those giant bombs. So, nice one there, fun attack to watch, and that's going to do it. going to be a quick video, one of each town hall level for you guys, and just that update to let you know that uh, I'm still alive, I'm just busy, so... Yeah, I look forward to streaming a little bit over uh, over winter break. The you know about three next like three weeks all the way up to like January. As soon as the my finals are done in a few days, should start streaming. So that should be fun. But thanks for watching. I'll see you guys later. Bye. Sectatron out.